Welcome to I Can Science That. Today I want to discuss the curve of the horizon. I've come to realize that people can get a little impatient with topics like this. So I decided to put together a playlist of short videos to review the topic and then introduce what I hope might be new material. That should allow viewers to jump straight in where they are most interested and then come back and review other videos only if they want additional context. Let's start off with the initial claim. And before anyone claims that I'm straw manning the argument, I'll play the audio directly from Eric Dubay as he makes them. The horizon always appears perfectly flat 360 degrees around the observer regardless of altitude. The horizon always rises to the eye level of the observer as altitude is gained. So that's what Eric Dubay says, but is he correct? In this series, I plan to investigate these two claims separately. After that, I will attempt to explain how these two separate claims are actually tied together. For simplicity's sake, I prefer to investigate these claims in the reverse order. First, the horizon always rises to eye level as altitude is gained. Flat earthers are anything but unified on this issue. Some, like Dubay, say it's true, and this is because the Earth is flat. They'll say this is how they know it's flat. Others say that the claim is false, that the horizon actually drops below eye level. This group would suggest that the drop of the horizon is due to an optical effect and does not indicate any curvature of the Earth itself. Second, we'll consider the apparent straightness or curvature of the horizon. Once again, some insist that this is true, and this proves that the Earth must be flat, while others acknowledge that we do see a curve, arguing that this does not in any way indicate an actual curve. There are different opinions on these topics, but ultimately what has inspired me to make this series is a particular combination that seems to be fairly common. Some people agree that the horizon definitely drops, but argue that the horizon still does not curve. As we investigate the two claims separately, I hope to address this combination in particular. So, does the horizon rise to eye level? How can we test the claim? It's actually fairly easy and has been done to death, but here are a few different suggestions. Install an app on your phone. If you have an Android phone like me, Dioptra is available for free. On an iPhone, the Autolite is $8.99. If you don't trust the electronics, you can build a portable water level with 10 bucks worth of parts available at any hardware store. Just get up high and use your chosen tool to measure the angle down towards the horizon. You could go to the top of a tall building, or the next time you fly in an airplane. Or use this as an excuse to take a hike up a mountain. I always try to encourage people to go and test this for themselves, but I have had many requests to see my results. Have I actually done this? Okay, here you go. These are the photos I've taken myself. I took a trip to St. Louis and went up into the arch. I used Dioptra to take a picture and showed the horizon below eye level. Since I have Dioptra on my phone, I always try to check the horizon whenever I get a window seat on an airplane. Here's my homemade water level up on Mount Wilson. The water is at eye level here and the horizon is down there. Finally, here's a shot from the top of Sandstone Peak looking out over the Pacific Ocean. I especially like this one because the sun is completely below eye level. I've tested this over and over and every time I check it, I find the horizon somewhere below eye level. So the original claim as stated was false, but you don't have to take my word for it. Check it for yourself. Post down below in the comments if you've ever tested the horizon rising to eye level. YouTube is iffy about links. But if you email me your links or send me your photos directly, either through email or through Discord, 
I can paste them into a pinned comment here. And if I get enough, I'll collect them all together into a special video just for you all.